Now let's take some time to talk about how to manipulate the control curves in a propeller in OpenVSP. For this example, let's use the cord and take a look at the interface that we have. So if we zoom in and focus on this propeller blade, we'll see some of the stuff that's going on as we manipulate this. Now, you have a type listed as a cubic bezier, usually for each of these various settings that we have, cord twist, rake skew, etc. And then you can also choose to convert to a different type. So if we happen to be on a cubic bezier and want to go to a peach hip spline, we simply click and convert to, and it will spline in between these points. If we then go back to a cubic bezier, convert to, notice that we don't recover the shape that we originally had because what it did was it approximated our shape using the control points that we had and then went ahead and applied an approximation. So it wasn't exactly what we had before and you need to be careful when you move these points. So notice that here I'm dragging around this control point that we have and all of the values are being updated accordingly down in both the interface but the model itself isn't updating until I release this button and then the model is going to go ahead and update for me. And this is true for the spline curves and the tangencies, etc. So down here, notice that I have this point selected and if I click here, it's giving me the control point. I can enforce G1 continuity or a constant slope. When I do that, I can then adjust these values and make it so that that keeps a constant or a constant slope through that point. Now, you may want to add or subtract points from these curves, and the way that you do that is you can either choose an R over R location, in this case let's say 0.5, and you click split. So what it's going to do is put a control point right here at 0.5, so you have another one that you can work with. If you don't want a point or you want to remove another one, you can simply click delete pick, click that point, and it will remove it. Another thing that can be done is to go back and pick the individual point that you want using this selection and click delete. And that again will cut that point out. So here, notice we can adjust how these points are lofted through. And another thing that can be done if you want is to click split pick. This is going to activate that button and wherever you click on this curve is going to add a control point. So a handy little interface. Notice that as I click anywhere else on this menu, everything is fixed. It's giving us a plot of 0 to 100% of chord over R and 0 to 100% R. So as it's set, we can go through and manipulate any of these curves, including modifying a linear spline or cubic bezier or using an approximate cubic bezier. Now this is really useful if you have something like a blade element model that you've brought in and it has... 10, 20, 30, or 100 different control points because the BEM code is going to output that many. Well, if you have that many control points in a prop component, as we've shown before, it's going to be very, very slow. and It will be almost impossible to work with it in any real fashion. So if you want to be able to work with your model, but you do want to maintain a profile from a BEM code, you can click Approximate Cubic Bezier, and what that's going to do is it's going to apply an approximation and make a cubic bezier spline based on that shape. So you maintain the distribution that you wanted, but your model speeds up significantly. So that's how you can come in and manipulate some of these control, for, control curves and use the interface. Note also that you can come down and manually adjust any of these values that you want, and all of these that are active buttons are parameters that can be scripted or be accessed by the API.